nerds! Hi Yogi's Carly Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a fast travel to your core flow. So we'll be focusing on core strength but we're not going to be doing sit-ups or crunches. We're going to be really channeling our, our core strength and our abdominal strength from a deeper place. So starting from our deep core muscles and going out instead of you know crunching our muscles and maybe hurting our backs and trying to get strong from the outside layers in. So inside out that's how we want to work it today. To start, we're going to, of course, activate our Mula Bandha breath. There's no better way to get into the very deep core muscles than your Mula Bandha breath. So come into a comfortable seated position. I'm just kind of resting here uh, on, my, on my legs, on my knees. You're going to inhale. As you inhale, think about kind of having like a tube wrapped around your, your low belly. And you're inhaling, feeling that tube in a 360 direction. So you inhale here. And as you exhale, you're really lifting and squeezing that air in and up as you exhale out the nose. So you're kind of thinking about inhaling to the very base of your spine and exhaling your air all the way up along your spine out through your nose as you exhale. And that's where we're going to start channeling all of the deep core muscles that run along our spine. So inhaling, exhale. Inhale and exhale. You want to keep that breath going through the whole flow. To start, you're just going to inhale, exhale. Fists of fire are going to come uh, right under kind of your, by your rib cage. So you're uh, rounding your spine. We're going to arch and round our spine. We'll cat cow here. And then exhale, we'll alternate, alternate to fists of fire to low belly. So you inhale, exhale, little rounding out of your spine. Inhale, exhale, deeper rounding of your spine. So first we're really getting into the upper back, then exhaling more into our low back, low spine. Spine warmed up is a great way to start activating right into that deep core. Last two here. Very nice. Inhale. Hands come to heart center and namaste or Anjali Mudra. I'm going to turn to the side here. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. Um, feet pointed into the earth. We'll start some cat cow here get a bit deeper into our spine so inhale really bend your knees or bend your elbows exhale round through your spine really lifting in and up through your deep core your low belly creating a lot of movement here and then as you feel ready, as you exhale, you'll lift up off of your knees. So your knees come to a hover, getting even deeper into that low belly strength. And starting to get into the uh, legs and arms here, which have some of our deep core muscles. last time. You're going to exhale, really lifting up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and press yourself back to your down dog. And from your down dog, getting a bit deeper still into our core. So slight bend in your knees and elbows. Lift your right leg. Inhale and exhale. Really lift that knee in and after your core plank. One. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come to the upper outer edge of your right arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, this time twist. So right leg, right knee, I should say, is coming to the left arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back to center. Really lifting, 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 lifting. Then from here, the really strong palms into the earth. Step back into your plank. Plank is one of the best, uh, core strengthening workouts you can do. So 
really pressing away from the earth, long spine here. Slight bend in your elbows as you press yourself back to down dog. Wave your spine long. And try that on the other side. So inhaling here, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee comes to chest for core plank one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to the upper outer left arm. Inhale, exhale, twist now towards the right, lifting towards the upper right arm. Inhale back to center. Exhale, really lifting in and up. Waving your spine long as you hold that and step back to your high plank. Inhale, bend in the elbows. Exhale, press yourself back. Pedaling out your feet. From here, big bend in your knees and elbows as you wave yourself forward. Come onto your knees lower through your chaturanga towards the earth. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale. Press back to child's pose. Rock back and forth for a moment. Exhale. Now if you want to do that a particular movement sequence as many times as you want, hit pause, keep going through it, keep building all of that core strength. We're going to move on to a low plank pose because low plank is, is hard but it's fun. So this is another great one to build your core. So you're going to come onto your elbows. You can interlace your fingers if that is most comfortable for you. Long spine. Basically think about it. You'll be up like this, but you can stay on your knees. But you definitely want to start on your knees so that you can create that length in the spine and really lifting up your hips. You don't want your hips sagging to the floor. <laughs> That's not going to build core strength. So really lifting in and up away from the earth. You're fighting gravity here. And then if you want, then you can take the extra challenge of coming off of your knees. Again, any variation of plank is an amazing way to build core strength. So you're really fighting gravity here. You are using pretty much all of your deep core muscles. Then from here, you can come back onto the earth. Now here, we'll intentionally go to the ground and you can inhale, come into a sphinx pose to get a bit of a belly stretch. So really pressing into the earth with your forearms, your elbows, length through the spine, standing through the crown of the head. We'll do a couple of rounds of that, adding on to each one, and then you can kind of play with these moves and figure out which ones you like the most and which ones you want to do more of. So from here, grounding into the earth with your arms, really lifting up away from the earth with your strong core, coming up off of your knees. And you can stay here or it's going to add an added challenge of lifting one leg at a time. So bending at a 90 degree angle and balancing on one leg. And then you can switch sides. And make sure not to drop this knee. You can always try that if you're trying to build up to this, but you don't want to sag your hips while you're doing it. Just have the knee on the ground still lifting up through your core away from the earth. And exhale, coming back down to the earth, coming back to your sphinx stretch. If you want to take the stretch a little bit deeper, you can press away from the earth, coming into a seal. Really making sure that you've got the length in your spine, you're not like crunching your low back or anything. Back to our plank position. I'll show you one more variation. You can channel your scorpion strength in this one. So coming up into plank, if you're okay with lifting the one leg, you can even add a twist and scorpion that leg behind you. Come back up and switch sides and twist, dropping that leg behind you.
really maintaining that lift through your low belly as you're doing this. The length in your spine. Awesome, come back down to the earth. Find that belly stretch that worked best for you. And then from here, walk yourself back to child's pose. Rock back and forth again. You can have your hands out in front of you or rest them behind you if that feels better. And then from here, again, you can do as many rounds of that as you like. Um, I know this flow was a bit short, but the idea is to give you a way to fast work towards your core, really lifting, fighting against gravity, developing all of that strength from the inside out. So you can do as many rounds as you want. You can just do the, the scorpion planks if you want, and if you don't want to do the whole flow, you can do while you're watching TV, you know, you can do it during loading screens, whatever is going to be best for you, and use that, those quick core strengthening, because I'm sure you can tell just from doing it a little bit, that's a lot of core strengthening in a little bit amount of time without having to do crunches or any of that kind of stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you find something that you can take away uh, with that. I do look forward to seeing you again on the mat next time, so make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications when the new videos go up. I also have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi email list, so make sure you're signed up there as well. Namaste.